Hi everyone, we have a lot to talk about, so let's get to it. This is Alex Tardy, Meteorologist, National Weather Service Office out of San Diego. Precipitation in the form of rain and mountain snow, along with some wind right through the holiday. This is update number four. We had some rain overnight, past 24 hours as of this recording. You can check out the latest rainfall totals at the link shown here. Mountain areas above 5,000 feet had up to an inch. Most areas about a half inch. The rain in the lower elevations below 5,000 feet was much, much lighter. Uh, just a few hundredths, less than a tenth of an inch across the urban and coastal valleys across Southern California. Be sure during this storm to check out RadarWeather.gov. There you can track and see the latest rainfall you can see the stronger, heavier, more intense rain bands, as well as the movement of the rain. This will be a valuable source as we move through this storm. What brought the rain so far? Well, we have a warm, moist plume, an atmospheric river that is now pushing into Southern California. It arrived last night and it bumped the snow levels way up to 9,500 feet. Here's a satellite view taken Thursday morning, you can see the leading edge, the green, is the start of the atmospheric river that's already in place. The more significant atmospheric river extends into the tropics with a large portion of that moisture breaking off and moving towards us tonight and Friday morning. Global view shows several things going on. Cold air that is coming down from the North Pole directly across British Columbia. That'll be a player later in the weekend into early next week. Atmospheric river coming out of the tropics. Well, that's a player now. The disturbance in the middle, that middle arrow, that'll be what arrives tonight and Friday morning and forces out that moderate to heavy rainfall. Here's the more zoomed up version for you. You can see Friday's storm is west of San Francisco. That's where all the energy is right now. And that's what's drawing all the moisture up from the tropics. That'll collide and move through Southern California tonight and also Friday morning. It's a large area of tropical moisture, so about 24 hours of rainfall. The next system is still well to the north, up by Vancouver. That'll drop down for Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. That is colder and drier, but it'll be more impact with showers and, of course, lower snow elevations. Everything is going up and over that big H in the Pacific. Big picture, through the holiday weekend, widespread two to three inches San Diego to LA. Excessive rainfall is expected in this area here, Western Riverside, Orange, and Northern San Diego County through this evening and tonight. As we go into Friday morning with the main atmospheric river, It'll extend from Orange County, Riverside, all the way down to the Mexico border and Tijuana River Valley. This area is expected to see the excessive or too much rain where we could have rain over a half inch, 0 0.50 per hour at its peak, most of the time quarter to half inch rainfall. That produces a lot of runoff and some of that will spill into our deserts. This is what we do expect this happened December 14th. It's likely that we will see some flooding in low-lying areas, some streams going over their banks, rivers near bankful, low-lying flooding and flood-prone areas, urban areas, and then unfortunately rock and debris flow slides, especially on our burn scars, but also on any coastal slope that receives that heavy rainfall. So mountain highways will be dangerous. A lot of this rain will be Thursday night during the overnight hours and during Friday morning. The San Diego River is expected to rise rapidly overnight Friday morning. Levels could get as high as 12 feet as shown here in the blue shaded. As we go into Friday, that atmospheric river will get pushed to the east and south and then we await a colder system, that new L, coming down straight from the North Pole and swinging across Southern California. 
On Saturday, it'll be right on top of us. So we expect Saturday's system, Saturday night, to be much colder, lower snow levels, down to 4,500, 5,000 feet. So that will mean more widespread chain control. The valleys uh, and the coast will see lots of showers with additional precipitation. The atmospheric river will be pushed well to the south. What about next week? Well, on Monday, as we go into the heart of the holiday week, another system is going to drop down directly from the north and tap some moisture from the south. Not as big as what we're seeing Friday, Christmas Eve, but nonetheless, more snow above 6,000 feet and more significant shower activity across the entire region. Will this end? Looks like we're going to end December with unsettled weather right into New Year's. Next chance for precipitation unsettled weather will be late next week, right before New Year's. Don't have a lot of details on this yet. This storm is coming from far, far away, well north of Alaska, so it's a long ways away. But it looks like it will take a similar path along the track shown in red. Our atmospheric river will be our big deal coming up for starting now all the way through Thursday night and Friday morning as shown here, pointed right towards LA, Orange County, and San Diego. And it will roll all the way into the deserts. By Friday morning, Christmas Eve, the back edge will be at LA. So heavy rain still potentially Friday morning early in Orange County into Riverside. And then of course, San Diego County all the way into Northern Mexico with the heart of the atmospheric river in place early Friday morning. Here's a look at the three different storms rolling through. Storm number one will be the bigger one. About 24 hours of rain, about 12 hours of moderate to heavy rain. Then we look for a smaller but colder storm. That'll be Saturday afternoon and Saturday night. And then storm number three looks to be on track for Monday. And that could also bring significant precipitation, even though it's not a, a large, warm atmospheric river like we'll be dealing with on Christmas Eve morning. The totals for this first storm, Thursday through Friday, they are large. Uh, three to five inches along the coastal slopes, locally seven. We are going to see in our urban areas, widespread two to three, and spill over into the deserts of at least an inch up to two. So snow levels will be a problem eventually on Friday when they come down to 7,000 feet in the morning. By Friday afternoon, as low as 6,000 feet. That'll start impacting some of our mountain highways like 18 and 38. Same can be said for Wrightwood Highway 2, initially very high snow levels, but they'll come down on Friday, down to 6,000 feet. And remember, they remain between five and 6,000 feet through the weekend. This is the snowfall prediction. High snow levels Thursday night, 7,500 feet, but they will come down Friday morning. So we do expect a little bit of wet accumulation in our mountain communities by Friday afternoon. More significant accumulation up in the ski resort level as shown here, where there'll be several inches up to a foot. Winds will be an impact along the passes, Interstate 10, Interstate 8, along the ridges, mountains, and a lot of this wind will be accompanied with the heavy rain overnight and Christmas Eve. Elsewhere in the coastal areas expect that wind gusts will be up around 25 miles per hour, perhaps as much as 30 miles per hour, but that combined with rain can break some branches. The next storm for the weekend, Saturday afternoon through Saturday night and Sunday morning, here are the totals, half inch to an inch in the mountains, and for our coastal communities, a quarter to half inch. Additional rain on top of already big numbers that occur Thursday night and Friday. This will be a colder storm, so snowfall will be occurring on Christmas Day and Christmas Day night across our mountain communities as shown here, with several inches of snow expected. Expect snow levels down to at least 5,000 feet. The outlook for the rest of December, as discussed, is expected to remain below average temperatures and above average precipitation. Here are some of the details. I'll let you take a look at them at your leisure. You can pause the slide 
Heavy rain is the main impact. Secondary impact will be mountain wind and then, of course, mountain snow, especially over the weekend when snow levels come down. Too much rain at once is the theme. That is the forecast impact. Too much rain at once Thursday night and Friday morning should result in at least urban small stream flooding and large rises on rivers and flooding, unusual flooding in some areas as well, with all areas at risk from deserts to the coast to the foothills. For those reasons, a flood watch is in effect for all the area for potential for unusual flooding. We also have posted wind and snow products for the mountains. Check the latest at weather.gov. Be sure to check Facebook, Twitter as well for updates. A significant atmospheric river is poised to move through Thursday evening through Friday morning with excessive rainfall. This will likely result in urban small stream flooding and even potential river flooding. Heavy rain from coast to deserts and the foothills in between. Don't forget that snow levels will be coming down Friday and especially over the weekend as we see round two in a colder system come through Saturday night. The unsettled weather continues early next week, including on Monday, with an additional storm system coming down from the north, keeping those snow levels low. This weather pattern looks to remain unsettled through the rest of the month. Have a happy, safe holidays. Always check the latest forecast at weather.gov.